hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if it is your first time here welcome my name is Maledi Swaratle and if you are a return subscriber thank you so much for coming back to another video I really do appreciate you guys's support everlasting support so today's video is going to be a chit chat and I'm gonna be talking about um, the tips on how to buy hair from Aliexpress I always get a lot of questions from people not just subscribers but like just in general like people asking me how do you order hair where do you order your hair which website do you use how do you get it the process and things like that so in this video it's just gonna be like a chit chat and a guide on how to order hair from Aliexpress because honestly that's the site or the app that i vouch for in terms of delivering quality hair the wig that i'm wearing is also from aliexpress from iShow hair so i will be talking about it and how i also ordered it but in general i'll be talking about um how to buy hair from aliexpress the tips and tricks what to look out for and things like that and then i'm also going to give you guys the top five hair vendors that i think is reputable and is worth it or won't scam you anything like that these oh my gosh sorry so those are going to be my top five um hair vendors or way to shop for your your hair bundles or units so yeah if you are interested or if that's something that you want to know or looking to find out then do keep on watching this video but before we get into the video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel you guys we're on the road to 2k and i'm very very excited so please 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 do not forget to subscribe like this video and share with anybody that might want to know more so yeah let's get into it So first things first, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Aliexpress app. So I encourage you to get an Aliexpress app instead of shopping online. I mean, you can say Aliexpress.com like on your browser or on Chrome or whatever, but I prefer having the app somehow. I, I think you also get discounts as well on the app if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah just get the app you guys it's so much easier to work with and it's just convenient you know and then you also get like notifications when there's like maybe a sale or there's something that you might want to know or want to get and aliexpress will send it to you but they also do that via email as well first things first you need to know what it is that you want so what kind of hair do you want we're all different some people love curly hair other people love you know the kinky hair the one that looks like natural hair other people love straight hair like myself you guys i can never have enough straight wigs um it's just it's just my thing to be honest i i love straight wigs <laughs> there i said it um some people love it curly some people love it wavy other people like it very very thick other people like it thin others like it in the middle um personally i'm a fan of like sleek and very thin hair so it honestly depends from person to person so you just need to know what it is that you want so you can actually start shopping so i'm just gonna open my aliexpress app and then it's gonna take me to the home page that looks like this there's just gonna be like a bunch of stuff stuff that you're probably not even interested in or maybe some that you are so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first type in the search um, space so for example let's say you want to order a 13 by 6 HD lace wig or 13 by 6 transparent I love uh, 13 inches not 13 inches or 13 by 6 personally because it's like from ear to ear instead of like a, a closure or 4 by 4 I know some people like a 5 by 5 maybe I'll try that one time or one day but personally uh, the one that I wanted is a 13 by 6 so let's say I'm gonna say 13 by 6 HD lace frontal wig and then it's gonna open up like a bunch of results so obviously you're gonna look 
at the results and then you're gonna see if there's anything that you like and you obviously gonna look at the prices as well what I like about the app is that it transfers like the dollars or whatever currency that it was using into the one that is applicable to your country so for us it's gonna be into rands or czar and it's just gonna show you the price instead of like you having to now go back and convert how much is 258 dollars it just gives you right there how much it actually is so you don't have to constantly go and convert it and then it's gonna just give you a bunch of results that might seem confusing but you just look for what you want if you're not finding what you want apply the filter so there's a filter at the top right corner just under the icon for camera and it says full time and then in the filter you're gonna sh search what or click what you prefer so for example I always prefer free shipping I don't understand why I'm paying for shipping if I'm already paying for the hate like just include it in the price I know some companies you will pay for shipping and others it's just gonna be ridiculous I don't recommend paying for shipping just find hair companies where the shipping is free like for this one I think it was yeah it was free most of the hair that I buy the shipping is free I don't understand why people <clears throat> want to spend like 600 plus or 400 plus on shipping if it's like a hundred and something or 200 and something rand or 300 I think that's reasonable but above that I don't get it so I'm gonna apply free shipping to the filter and then you can also apply the price so you can say from minimum price to maximum so maybe what you can afford let's say is a maximum of 3000 rand and not more so then it applies it to that and then you can say full lace wig or you know you'll choose the lace wig type so if you want a 360 lace frontal wig then you'll get that if you want a full lace wig or u part wig you just choose that so i'm just gonna say full lace wigs and then there's just others like wig length long medium you'll choose long and then you're gonna say done after applying the filter the, the the filter effects or whatever and then it's gonna give you like a bunch of results and then after finding what you want you click on it and then um, it's gonna open up and show you the hair so now after you've clicked on what you think you like you're gonna go to specifications or sorry not specifications you're gonna go to the the tab that says two color ten stretch length and three density and you're gonna choose what you want so like the length and the type of lace wig that you want so I said for example I prefer 13 by 6 HD lace wig and I'm just gonna click 13 by 6 HD lace wig and then I'm gonna go to the amount of inches that I want so let's say I want to go longer and I'm gonna say 26 inches and then you choose the density as well so density is how thick and how full the hair is so there's 150 density 180 250 this one is 150 density if I'm not mistaken yeah this one is a 150 I love 150 densities they look a little bit more natural they look like you know yeah they could possibly be your hair but I, I just like them and they're also easier to manage obviously if you want thicker or fuller you can go to 250 or even 180 okay so after choosing a density you're gonna see at the bottom it's gonna tell you shipping sometimes it tells you the price of shipping sometimes it says free so because I applied the filter that says free shipping it now says free shipping and it says from China to South Africa sometimes it could say from USA to wherever from France whatever it just depends on where you are and then um, it's gonna say via the actual courier service so if they're using dpex they'll use that if they're using aramex they'll use that so they'll just tell you what uh courier company they use personally i'm a big fan of dpex it delivers within like two weeks um or aramex 14 days that's basically two weeks um there's another one i just forgot the name Ugh. so just look at the hair company uh, um sorry the the courier company and if it's reputable and then it also tells you the estimated delivery so if you want your hair in the next two weeks don't choose something that is going to deliver within 30 days or 21 days of estimated delivery do you understand and then after you choose that you're going to say buy now or you're going to say add to your cart and then let's say you just want to say buy now it's going to take you to the order confirmation so you look at your order you'll confirm it 
and then you'll see if it's what you want and then after that you say pay now and then you're done literally you pay and then um, what I like about Aliexpress is that the vendors, especially if it's a reputable hair vendor, that's why it's so important to buy from good hair vendors, they usually communicate with you. They'll tell you hair has just left, you know, the country or the origin country and then it's now in, you know, your country like South Africa and then it will tell you, okay, estimated to be delivered today or whatever. And then some vendors, like you can actually communicate with them and they'll tell you um, if there's any delays for example like in China right now there's a hard lockdown so things are maybe a little bit slow so they'll communicate and they'll tell you okay be a little bit patient because there's a lot going on so yeah you guys that's what I love about Aliexpress and then another thing that I love is that you can apply coupon codes so basically you'll see just under specifications on the app there's a space that says discounts and coupons you click on it and then it gives you like for example depending on how much you spent let's say i spent over 1.3 you say coupon get it now and you get the coupon and it applies it and you can actually get a discount these help a lot so that's why i say get the app i'm not sure if it applies on the website like on the actual website try it but honestly <clears throat> Honestly, I prefer the app if I'm being honest. So yeah, you guys that is literally it when it comes to Aliexpress You just need to make sure that you order hair from a reputable hair company And then another tip that I want to give you so from for now After I showed you guys how you actually order the hair These are the tips that I actually want to give you guys when ordering hair and what to look out for So number one usually with um the hair vendor for example what you need to do is you need to look at the ratings so the reviews and stuff like that what do people say about the hair so for example with this hair company the one that i ordered from i show hair i read i was literally sitting on the reviews to make sure that i'm not making a mistake because hair is expensive if you're gonna make a stupid mistake it's done it's a very expensive mistake <laughs> I hate expensive mistakes so what you want to do is you want to go down all the way to where it says reviews and then you're gonna read the reviews from what people are saying um, you're gonna hear people are gonna say the hair is good it's soft uh, true to length so if they if you order 22 inches do they actually give you 22 inches or do they rob you um, the density the installation like basically a lot of details about the hair so this is the hair that I ordered and that's literally how it came obviously it's styled by different people and it's gonna look different but honestly I am definitely happy about the way it came out so like I'm very very I'm very very happy with it um, just be aware some people apply filters to their pictures so look for ones where someone did not apply a filter for example to make sure that it actually is legit and it's giving what they say it gives and then what you also want to do when you're reading the reviews read reviews under your own country so i like going to the south african reviews and i click on it right over there at the top um, i'm gonna show you guys on the screen what i'm talking about because i feel like it's so hard to explain with my phone but you're gonna go to the south african um shopper aliexpress south africa and then it's gonna tell you okay this person give it a five star what do they think about the hair and how did it come i always recommend reading reviews from your country i don't know like i just feel like you'll definitely get the honest truth because some of these vendors they give certain people good hair and then others they don't so read like the reviews from your particular country that's a tip that i can give so always look at the the the, the, the ratings or order hair from like four star to five star ratings if you don't find just keep looking right just keep looking until you find something that's like a four star to a five star um rating and then another tip that i can give you tip number two is to order hair from stores or vendors that have at least like 50k followers so 50,000 the more the better because it means that people are actually 
you know buying and they're following it and it's not a new company because new companies are very risky you don't know how the hair is gonna come they just came in into the business and what if you're just not happy with what they offer right but i always recommend you order hair from vendors that are at least 15k upwards okay 30k to, to be safe let me say 30k 30,000 followers the more even better right because then you know that the hair vendor is legitimate and people are obviously following because they like it and also the ratings look at that as well so yeah guys that is my tips and tricks for ordering hair on aliexpress i hope it clarifies a few things maybe you might not be sure or yeah things that you just might not be sure of or you've always wanted to order hair but you don't you just don't know where to start so i hope that was informative and helpful another thing um this is tip number three probably the last tip so i don't want the video to be too long but another tip let's say for example you're on instagram and you see your favorite influencer wearing hair from nadula hair you can also search in the search box nadula hair you don't have to like start by saying 13 by 6 lace wig or whatever say nadula official store and then it's gonna open up the actual store does it make sense like it's gonna open up the actual store see this one has 67,000 followers even better so it's gonna open up the actual store and then you're gonna look for the hair that maybe that specific influencer was wearing and try and look for like for example if it was straight or whatever you'll just look under the the different tabs of the items and yeah and also don't forget to read the customer reviews so yeah that is my tips you guys uh, i hope it was very helpful you can ask me questions in the comment section and i will answer them as quick as i can so um yeah we've come to the end of the video but before that i just wanted to give you guys my top five hair companies that i personally can vouch for or i say is good and they actually deliver hair because i know people are very scared of spending money online i don't blame you guys and then the hair does not come like that's the most painful thing when you spend money and it does not come <laughs> Or your order does not come or like just does not come the way you had anticipated so fearless say less i'm gonna plug you guys with my top five hair companies from experience and also from um what i've seen from most people and before i do that i just want to remind you guys that some influencers will obviously vouch for a hair company because they're getting paid to do so Obviously some influencers will be honest, especially if it's hair that they purchase themselves so they don't owe anyone anything. But some influencers are paid to actually um, review the hair so ugh, they're kind of going to sell it and make sure that you like it too. So just be careful about that and other hair companies, especially the local ones, will sell good hair to the influencers and then like the general public will just get horrible hair. I almost use a swear word but it's the truth some people just get horrible hair i've seen it it happens and it's really really sad because i'm just like you're bringing your company down if you're doing that because word of mouth is a thing and that's how your business grows so it's just a quick tip it's just something that i wanted to put in the air so if someone is reviewing make sure that you've done extensive research don't just watch one person's video and say okay i'm gonna order hair from this hair vendor i'm done just watch a couple and then see and then another tip oh this is the last tip i'm sorry <laughs> go to instagram and search the actual hair company and then go under their tagged photos so don't look at only their posts because it's a company and they're going to only post good stuff about themselves what you want to do is you want to look at what other people are saying so look at their tagged post and what the general public is saying about their hair and then just search and see if it's really delivering and it says what it says it does anyway i'm done with the tips <laughs> okay guys so these are my top five hair companies um that i recommend buying from from experience and obviously 
from what I've seen is good but most of them I have purchased and I've experienced them firsthand so number one and it is in this order number one is icy hair icy hair the hair perfect really good very good quality um they deliver literally within like two weeks could be less that's what i love about them and their hair is really good quality like it doesn't shed a lot i hate buying wigs and it just falls all over the place so it does not shed a lot um and it's also it holds heat very well i will say however sometimes it does have this weird smell especially if you're buying the malaysian hair but i don't know if it was just my bundle maybe other hair is better if you've ordered from them let me know and let us know in the comment section but i see hair i definitely root for it i know a lot of people have been talking about it not just influencers but people in general it's definitely amazing especially their malaysian hair in terms of texture and just the way it looks like i get most of my compliments from that unit although like right now i honestly i got tired of it and it's somewhere in my wardrobe i don't know but yeah i see hair is definitely number one number two is nadula hair their quality i've never heard anything negative about them um i think the quality is really really insane it's amazing they lace wigs melting like butter um you guys should check out the hd lace wigs it's really really beautiful true to length as well and hair vendors communicate really really well so yeah and then i show hair which is the one that i'm wearing right now guys when i tell you that was the first time i heard i had hair vendors actually communicate with me so 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 well literally if i have a problem within 24 hours they've answered me or they've sorted it out so and my hair came within like i think two weeks of ordering it so it wasn't very very long and i was ready to wait because that's when china was in lockdown so i was just happy that i did not wait that long or i did not wait that long rather so yeah i show here you guys i definitely recommend it um the lace wigs this is the transparent 13 by 6 lace wig um already it came like um pre-plucked with baby hairs they obviously had to do a little bit of plucking at the salon i mean it's required but it wasn't like too much and um it already came like with baby hairs that were out so I, it just had to be laid like nicely and cute <laughs> Purr. yes yes oh 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 stiff work and then the second last one is one more hair which is the highlights wig that i once wore like once in a blue moon um they their hair is really really good it doesn't shed a lot um and it's honestly it holds so 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 well to heat and it doesn't have like the spraying smell especially when you straighten it it's really really a good lace wig or good hair company to order from and then finally miss coco hair miss coco hair was actually my first wig no i'm lying it was my second that i ordered from um it was a bob and it was really really beautiful everywhere i went people were asking me where did you buy this and i tell them it's coco and at that time i don't think it was very popular in asia to order hair from like aliexpress a lot of people preferred like actual vendors or salons where you go there you see their hair and you pay and you come back with the hair instead of ordering online but i was a risk taker and i was like i'm just gonna do it they delivered the hair within like two weeks as well really really good quality um and durable as well because sometimes when you buy a wig you don't just want to look for something that looks good you also want to get a wig for something that's actually durable and you'll make sure that within the next two years it'll still look just as good obviously wear and tear whatever they call it in accounting but as long as something is durable and good quality it will definitely last you very long anyway you guys that is my top five i hope i did not forget anything and those are also my tips and tricks on how to order on aliexpress i hope it definitely clarified some things for you guys if there are certain questions that you had and some things that you were just not sure about so yeah if you guys have any other questions please ask them in the description box no, the description. 
ask it in the comment section below if you have any other questions you guys please ask in the comment section below if i don't know then i'll find out or if someone else knows they'll respond also in the comment section so yeah let's create a community you know what i mean but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and i hope it was definitely informative otherwise don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye